Hello, this is John from the Aimless Adventure podcast, and I'm here with Mr. Robinson. With an official Aimless Adventurer. <laughs> he is uh, one of the originators of the Intellivision. Uh, and one of the programmers. One of the programmers. Mm -hmm. And Intellivision Next is your baby? Uh, Intellivision, uh, Intellivision uh, Lives. Lives, I'm sorry. The company is actually called Intellivision Productions. Okay. But Intellivision Lives is our website, Intellivision Games is our website, Astro Smash is our website, so yeah. Okay. Uh, but yes, all things Intellivision, that's us now. Awesome. Um, what do you have planned for the future of Intellivision? Well, we're moving it to other platforms. You know, we've been on to uh, all, when, the, when the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, Xbox, um, as they go into the 360 and the and the 4, the PlayStation 4 and everything, the, um, the cost of doing the user interface becomes so much that even that they, you know, Microsoft and Sony discourages us from doing these simple little games from... <laughs> Way back when, these little blocky. No, no, you're not showing up for a machine. Just <laughs> like they don't like us being there. Uh, so that's why we did the um, television flashback here, okay. which is actually a little Intellivision unit. It's got 60 of the games built into it, and hand controllers look just like the original ones, and 60 games built in. It, so that is so cool. Thing. We came out with it uh, for Christmas of um, 2014. They've pretty much sold out, although some places still have them, like Bed Bath and Beyond. You can go and get get one there. Uh, we were sold out, but we're going to try to get some more in. Um, we're just not sure whether they're going to make any more of them or not. So. Okay. So I got a question. Yes. With the um, indie games movement being so popular now and uh, the console manufacturers being much more friendly to independent developers, do you find it easier to make Intellivision stuff on the new consoles? Is it cheaper? Is it easier as opposed to the expensive and often frustrating licensing um, that... A PlayStation 4 or something like that? Right, yeah, exactly. Like the uh, PlayStation 4, Xbox uh, One, they're much, they seem to be much more friendly to indie developers. It seems uh, easier to get your stuff there. Um, quite frankly, we, I, I haven't noticed that, but, no? uh, oh, okay. but um, you know, we are on the, um, we, we have done some stuff on the uh, Apple and on uh, Android, so oh, okay. that's cool. been no problem getting onto. All right. Yeah, I was just curious with, with kind of the, the push on indie games, if it would be easier to get, you know, like the emulated, you know, in television. Yeah, it's very stuff. difficult. In fact, uh, when we first um, came out and said, oh, we have these games, and yeah, we emulate them, originally they just refused it. They would not allow us initially on the, um, on, uh, uh, on the iPhones. Apple, wow. Apple wouldn't allow it. No emulation, you know. You we had to actually write, to we had to write a letter to them and say, look, we're only gonna be emulating games that we own, so. Right. <laughs> and we had to explain it in great detail. Sometimes you just need to write a letter. I remember we did, um, when the PlayStation version, PlayStation 2 version was released in Europe. Mm -hmm. In Europe, because of just the way lawsuits have gone and everything, it's um, the the companies in Europe have more say over just what can be on there. And uh, and um, on the place of Sony, Europe, now we had no problem in the United States, so we got ourselves onto the PlayStation 2. But when we did Sony in Europe, they said, "Oh, this, this game B17 bomber it crashes." One of my favorites, by the way. The voice saw, module. They wouldn't allow it unless we fixed B-17 Bomber. And so I wrote a letter, you know, to whom I'm making concern at Sony. Our fans like us to t completely emulate what the games were like, including the bugs. Because yeah. some people use the bugs to get higher scores. They, they know how the bugs are supposed to be there. Exactly. And if the bugs aren't there, they won't like it. Mm -hmm. I said, and my final thing in the letter was, fixing the bugs in the classic and television games would be like going to the Louvre and gluing arms on the Venus de Milo. Right. And, and Very good analogy. Since Sony PlayStation, since Sony Europe is based in France, mm -hmm. they went, oh, okay, we get it. Nice. <laughs> they let us do it. So. That's awesome. awesome. Well, cool, thank you. We, we um, really appreciate the fact that you're here. I think it was, when I saw your name pop up on the programming, I thought that was really cool. They invited me. And I, I mean, like I said, I love to talk about the old days in television and all that. So That's awesome. awesome. Definitely. Thank you for stopping to talk to us, and sure we'll thing. see you around. Sure thing. Actually, you stopped to talk to me. <laughs> Touche. Thanks, sir. All right. Thanks, sir.